Hi there, I'm Ethan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is Velo 101, or Learn JavaScript with Wix Code. And today we'll be writing our first lines of code and learning some really important debugging tools. So let's get started. OK, so this is the Wix editor. Uh, if you're not familiar at all with Wix and you've never seen the Wix editor before, you might want to take a step back and just go to the Wix website, try and make your first free site, and experiment with the editor a little bit before watching this video. Uh, if you are familiar with the editor, then this screen is familiar to you. And today we are going to be using Wix code, or Velo. And in order to do that, we need to go up here to the upper left side and we have dev mode. And then what we have to do is turn on dev mode. And then you'll see that we have this very handy IDE, uh, or a place that we can write our code, pop up here on the bottom. I'm going to make it a little bigger just so you can see what's going on. And first of all, it points us to the Velo API reference, uh, which I linked to in the previous video, and I'll link to here in this video as well. And then what we have is our onReady function. And in order to keep things simple, we're going to treat this onReady function as a black box. And what you have to know is basically that all of your code needs to go inside of this onReady function. OK, and that way you know that your JavaScript is only going to be running when the page is ready and all the elements are there. OK, and today we're going to be doing this little console hello world here that they have uh, written up here, but I want you to erase this and we're going to be writing that ourselves. Okay, so a very important tool when it comes to coding is being able to debug, okay, being able to find bugs in your code. And one of the primary ways that we do that using JavaScript, or one of the most commonly used ways, is using console.log. So to do a log, all you have to do is write console.log and then open parentheses. And then we can put whatever we want to log inside of these parentheses. And today, what I want to log is hello world. Okay. And whenever we want to log uh, just text, or whenever we want to write something that is text in JavaScript, it needs to be inside of quotation marks. And for now, just take that as a given, and we'll be explaining more about that in a future video. So I'm just going to take this and put this inside of my console.log. So now, when I run this code, or when I preview my website, or view my published website, in the console, which I'll show you where that is, it'll log this string, hello world. String is just means characters, words. So in order to see this console in the log, sorry, in the console, then you go to preview, just like you would preview your regular Wix website. And now you'll see that in preview mode, you also have this developer console over here. And this developer console is where we can see the things that we wrote logs for. Okay, so you can see here it says, hello world. Okay, and this is a very useful way for us to check our code in the future. Uh, because sometimes we'll have something where we don't understand why it's not working. And then if we log that certain thing, then here we'll be able to see what that thing is or what error it has. Um, and I know some of these things might not be so clear at the moment, but you'll have to trust me that as we get more into this, it will become more clear. But this is a super important tool. And there's one more thing that I want to show you, which is how to view the developer console in your live website. So if I go ahead and I publish this, okay, so now this console will also be part of my live website. Uh, sorry, this log in the console, then I can go to my live site and you have to go to that specific page that you were writing the code for. So I was writing it on the page for learn 
And then you can right click in Chrome and click inspect. Then on the right hand side, your console will open. And you can see here that I've, I'm consoling hello world. Okay, so that is how you write a console log using Velo uh, and how you view it both in preview mode and on your live site. And it's important to know how to do both because there will be some things that don't work in preview mode. Uh, just that's how Wix is. Some things don't work in preview mode and you'll also need to know how to log them on your live site. Okay, so to recap, we learned how to get into dev mode. Uh, we learned about where we're supposed to write our JavaScript. We learned how to write a log and we logged hello world and you can play around and you can write anything that you want in here and see how the log changes. And in the next video, I'll be explaining some more advanced stuff that we can do using Velo. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.